Today in Proverbs 23, King Solomon continues in a series of sayings of the wise. Each one of these sayings teach us ways to think and behave, things to value, and also the kinds of people to avoid in our relationships. We're taught to beware of riches, earthly power and possessions that only offer an illusion of security. We're taught to avoid people that will only scorn prudent words. As we could spend a good deal of time discussing each of these sayings, I'd like to focus on verses 17 through 18. Solomon says, Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. The foundation for a godly lifestyle is a continual turning away from our sin nature and continually giving our lives to God. We do this over and over, day by day, even hour by hour. These verses in Proverbs remind us that sin ultimately leads to death, but the fear of the Lord, reverence, and love for God lead to life and peace. The degree to which we enjoy abundant life is directly tied to our pursuit of His holiness and our turning away from sinfulness. Solomon declares that if we do this, if we continue in our zeal for the Lord, there is surely a future hope. And as the New Living Translation describes it, our hope will not be disappointed. In Romans chapter 8, the Apostle Paul describes life through the Spirit in verse 6. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. God desires a surrendered life to Him. He wants our whole heart. If we envy others, our heart can be deceived and we can be pulled in countless different directions only to find ourselves empty. How easy it is to envy others who seem to get ahead without regard to conscience or moral responsibility. For a time, they seem to prosper, even though they disregard what God wants. But they have no real future. So today, be zealous for God, pursue Him and His righteousness above all else, and all the things that we truly need will be given to us. Our future hope is secure in Him, and our hope will not be disappointed.